Hello everyone, welcome to my motion graphics class. In this video you can learn how to animate this kind of text animation in After Effects. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's create a composition first. You can see the composition settings on the screen. Then select the text tool and write anything. But make sure that the end of the word should be an O letter. That's important. Okay. So after creating text, let's align it to the center. Good. Then select the letters except O and change the color if you wish. I'm doing this because it will add some contrast to this design. Now it's time to change the text layer into a shape layer. Select the layer and right click, then choose Create Shape from Text. Now we've got a shape layer. Let's see the inside of this layer. Under the contents, you can see After Effects changed the text into shape layers, but they are still in the same layer and we have to separate them so the easiest way that I know is to duplicate the layer four times. As you know we have five letters, so we need five shape layers, one letter for each layer. So duplicate the layer four times. Then rename the layers one by one. After that, open the B layer and select all the letters except B and delete them. Now we have only a B letter in this layer. Then again open the I layer, then select all the letters except I letter and delete them. Now we have only an I letter in this layer. You have to repeat this process for the rest of the letters until you get one letter for each layer. Now each letter is separated and we can animate them easily. Let's start with the O. Select the layer and make the anchor point at the center of this shape. You can do it by holding Ctrl and double clicking on the pen behind tool. Nice. Now press P to reveal the position properties of this shape and click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe at around 2 seconds. Then press S on the keyboard to reveal the scale properties and click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. After that, press U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes of this layer. Then drag the time indicator to one second and add a keyframe like this. Then simply move the O this way around this position. Check the preview. Ok, now select all the keyframes and ease them. Check the preview. Now the movement of the O has become smoother. Then move the time indicator and set it around 4 seconds and copy the first keyframes of this layer and paste it at this point. You can see the O is moving in a loop. Then select these keyframes and open the graph editor. This is a speed graph. Then select all the keyframes. You can see these handles. Simply select it and drag it like this. You just have to create it like a mountain. After changing the graph, O movements look much better than before. Ok, let's hide the graph editor. It's time to animate a path for this shape. To reveal the path properties, I have a simple way. Click on this search bar and type path. Make sure the layer is selected. Then simply click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Press U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes in this layer. After that, move the time indicator and find the position where the first letter touches the center line of the O. Ok, let me zoom in so you can see it better. Press G to select a pen tool and carefully click on one of these points. Then hold ALT and drag the mouse to select those points. It's a very simple but effective technique to select multiple path points. Let's move forward. Click and hold one of the points and move upwards until you see the top edge of the B letter. It's important to create enough space between the O inner line and the B outer line so that B can easily pass into the O letter. Ok, if you understand this thing, just do it again on the other side. Click on a point, then hold ALT on the keyboard and drag the mouse to select those keyframes together. After that, select one of them and move downwards like this. That should be good. Ok, let's get back to our main view. Move the time indicator forward around here and then copy these keyframes and paste them here. 
You can see there is no distance between the O inner shape and the G outer shape. But it's okay, we'll cover that in the next steps. All right, continue the video. Copy the first keyframes and paste them here. Let's see the preview. Okay, that's good. Now select all keyframes and easy ease them. Then close this layer and select the rest of the layers. Pre-comp these layers. Give the composition a name and check this box. Then click OK. After that, click this button. It's a collapse transformation switch. Open the O layer and drag the time indicator to the last keyframe. After that, deselect the O layer and select the rectangle tool. Make sure the fill is set to be a solid color and the stroke is set as none. Then simply make a rectangle and make sure it covers all the letters. One more important thing. Adjust it and place it on the left side of the O. You can zoom in on the screen for perfection. After that, open the layer drop-down menu. Under the rectangle, you can see Rectangle Path 1. Select and right-click, then choose Convert to Bezier Path. Basically, Bezier Paths are manual mode, and now we have complete control. So just select the pen tool and make a point on the corners of this O. Then select this point and place it here and try to match the shape perfectly. Same thing I'm doing here. That's nice. After that, rename this layer as Reveal. Then change the color label of it and turn off this layer. Place it above the Bing layer, then change the Bing layer as an alpha mat. Then parent the Reveal layer to the O layer. And now you can see the result. Okay, so after creating secondary animation, let's move forward to creating revealing animation. Select all the layers and press U on the keyboard to reveal all keyframes. Then drag the time indicator at 2 seconds and press ALT plus open bracket to cut the layer at this point. Then simply duplicate the layers by pressing CTRL plus D on the keyboard. Place them above. Also, change the color label to recognize it. Move the time indicator at the first frame. Then press again ALT plus open bracket to uncut the layers. Then move the time indicator to two seconds. And one last time, use the shortcut key and cut the layers at this point. Then simply select the Bing Composition layer and set it as an alpha inverted mat. After that, select Reveal two layers and change the shape like this. Basically, we want the letters to come out into this O, so we have to adjust the shape. Make sure it's perfectly aligned with the inner shape of the O. That looks good. Folks, we are moving to the final stage of this animation. Select the O2 layer and choose the Rectangle tool. But this time, check this box. Whenever we want to create a mask on the shape layer, we have to check this box. Now, we are able to create a mask on this shape. Let me zoom in. So, you have to create a mask like this. And basically, I want to divide this O letter from the center. For accuracy, zoom in a bit, and let's perfectly align the mask line in the center of this O. All right, that looks good. Now it's time to rename the O layer. We'll call this Front O. Then duplicate the layer and rename it as Back O. Next, select the mask of the Back O layer and change the mask path from Add to Subtract. That's nice. Before moving forward, check the mask. Generally, we get this thin gap when we apply this technique. To fix this, just select one of the masks and adjust it a little bit. Good. Okay, so select the back O layer and place it below the Bing layer like this. Let's see how it's looking. Wow, that's so satisfying, isn't it? I feel that one thing is missing. Let's add it. Select the Bing layer, right click, and under Layer Styles, choose Drop Shadow. Go to the Drop Shadow options and change the size from 5 to around 35%. You can see we just created a fake depth in this scene. Let's see the final preview.
So that's how you can animate this looping text animation in After Effects without any plugins. I hope you learned something new today. See you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and be creative.